here is your quick video on making text on on shape okay so text is again a sketch function so you're going to go sketch and you got to tell it where you want to sketch let's get that out of the way front plane okay and text tool is right here click here and then you're going to tell it where you want the text to be sometimes you can constrain it to be uh based on inside of something else you've seen that in another one of my videos but for right now we're just going to put text right here click once for the top left of where the text is going to go and then the top the bottom right Okay, I always want you guys in my classroom to use bold. It's going to print so much nicer on the printer. Okay, if you want to choose a different font, whatever, it's fine with me. It's your choice. Okay, um, so if I said blah, 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 it looks like that, right? So what if I want to flip it? Now it says it backwards. So like maybe you want to put it on the back of a 3D object. Okay, and then you can flip it upside down as well. But blah, blah, blah is now going to show up right here really big. Okay, what happens if you want to, you know, turn it around, flip it, or anything like that, or change the size of it. First, dimension is your dimension button right here. So I can see dimension. Oops, the text is too big. So I want it to only be from here to here. Oops, it was 10 inches. What if I want it to be 5? All I got to do is say 5. It makes it smaller for me. Okay, so that's how you do that. Another thing that you might want to do is make it, the text go a different direction. So let's say show constraints. This is a horizontal constraint, meaning it means sideways. Well, I'm going to click on it once, hit the delete button. And now I'm going to make it so it goes sideways. I mean, up and down, vertical. Where? That. Ta-da. Now it goes up and down sideways. Okay. Here, that is your text tool.